found my SG50 LEGO set which I packed everything up before I left for my first year in Melbourne so I might reconstruct everything and, and see if I can fit all three attractions in one of these and like put it on display Whatever you do, do not do level 1 Kavanagh Bridge. So, uh, it takes a lot of time and my hand hurts to get those two flat blocks out of this base. I think I nearly broke the base also. RIP! Dorscon Orange X marks the spot Take everywhere <laughs> Today is day 6 of Circuit Breaker It's Easter And I don't know what to say about today So I only talk about last night so last night, I have been tearing pieces of paper that I really don't need. I only cleared up to the third drawer, I think. So, still got a long way to go in spring cleaning. Hopefully, I'll be back again. Um, today, I think, all I did was just do Foundations of Data Analysis course and continue with my virtual internship. I did some Tableau last night, even though and right now I'm just feeling a bit more reflective, especially today's Easter, celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and yet we are celebrating things differently because we're all staying at home. So of course, at this stage, I really do miss the close proximity I have with friends. The fact that from zero contact to one meter apart real quick is just hard to even handle but since everyone's staying at home it looks like I have to really hang in there I know it's barely a week it's been only 6 days hopefully tomorrow will be a better day then then in the meantime I'll probably just continue with what I can do right now and then go back to my usual routine tomorrow Day 7 of Circuit Breaker, it's been one week and I think there are a couple of things I did not mention yesterday which was day 6 of Easter is that number 1, I drew again and this is actually a skip of all the 3 events that actually happened from the Friday until Easter Sunday so it's actually on my article on Instagram so I'll put the link in the description and the other one is 
breakfast yesterday and today has been pretty great. So yesterday was porridge. Yeah, that's the picture after I mixed up the uh, ingredients. The other one I had was today was pretty satisfying. Yeah, it's about to rain long. <laughs> right, so what's been satisfying about today's breakfast is I managed to eat yogurt straight from the tub. And it's that typical marigold look at apple yogurt. <laughs> yeah. The other one that I managed to eat is that I tried a new egg recipe. So basically you just put like those typical sliced cheese in the egg mixture and then you microwave it. And the result is mixed feelings about it. Just let the pictures tell by itself. <laughs> pictures putting cheese in the egg and I'm not very sure it just feels far from success I mean so yeah I have a lot to work on in terms of egg sandwich recipes because I can use a microwave but I still need a lot of work on the store food and for now typical stay at home weekday in pictures learning situation where you can access free MOOCs at edX. This is Foundations of Data Analysis from UT Austin. Even the fan, the big fan I have in my room is not helping me. And even after the the huge rain outside still not helping day 8 and after doing the usual stuff that I do during the weekdays I am actually back to drawing and doodling so I'm actually currently catching up on the Easter drawings I missed out so April 7th, I'm doing April 8th right now and after that I'll be doing April 9th which is Money Thursday. So I've done two verses and one mood drawing. So the first one is the verse regarding the greatest commandment so to love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with your mind and your strength and love your neighbor as yourself the second one is a warning that Jesus issued regarding the, ta the hour and the time has come of the Son of Man so it's written literally in a warning sign so, and today's mood is imagine the last supper being held in version 2020 zoom meeting style I'm sure there are pictures of the last supper being in a zoom meeting style but I thought this sketch will kind of like summarize it all so tonight I'm gonna end up the day by letting you know about what's happening with some companies during this COVID-19 situation so behind me is Adobe portfolio. So right now, in order to clean up most of the things that I've been doing in my other accounts, in Facebook, Instagram, wherever I post my arts and stuff, which I start I started an account like last year when I was doing when I when I was doing the university student publication. I did drawing for Frago. So what happens is Adobe Portfolio right now is free until the 31st of May 2020. 
so this is a good time for me to do a website create a website under Adobe portfolio it's still working it, I'm still I'm still ongoing although I did publish it already just to test it out it will be ready when I will let I will let you know yeah, I'll, I'll I'll actually let people know when the website is ready because for now I'm still like editing and stuff so it's been eight days of not going out and the fact that I am right now exercising from home especially has caused me to adjust my schedules a little bit and right now the situation is evolving very quickly we are seeing a rise in number of local cases linked or unlinked uh, I will say linked and unlinked and right now the circuit breaker measures are getting more and more stringent so for example in your first offense you get fined but in the repeated offenses you get higher fines or prosecution and right now it is comp right now wearing masks is compulsory whenever you go outside it's not just whether you want to go grocery shopping or clinics or anything so yeah I feel like right now is more of a enforcement to stay home unless you need to go out so I really hope that the measures are working and that more people will cooperate with the measures especially when I see posts of people not really following it it's really shameful like you guys don't understand what situation we're in right now so okay enough rant i am going to sleep now good night i nearly lost count today so i believe today is day 10 so basically just past two days day eight and nine is just the same activities as i presented in the pictures and right now i'm four days left to an upcoming interview for a finance internship and i think basically i'm going to be interviewed by the hiring agent and all they want to do is to just to get to know me so next four days good luck to me